Saving money is one thing, but imagine if you could help save the world every time you went shopping. Our next guests say that you can, and they're here to tell you how. Please welcome the founders of BuyChange.com, Jono and Susan Corchin. Welcome, both of you. I've been reading a lot about you, and you're, you're, you've done so much to get people to buy responsibly and actually change the world through their purchases. Can you explain a little bit more about how you got started and what it's all about? Yeah. Elizabeth, the world is a hurting place. There's so much pain. There's so much struggle, so much to argue about, and yet we all want to make a difference. We want to make it better. But the question is, in practical terms, what can we do? And while we all despair, perhaps, at how little we can affect at the ballot box every few years, we need to learn to rejoice at how much we can create at, at the cash register every yes. few days. There, we can create huge change. And we're, we're big consumers here, especially in the States, so I think there's definitely reason and uh, there's logic behind us getting behind good causes in our purchases. You brought some products here. Um, this is the first one that I just found so interesting. It's called Food from the Hood, and it's a salad dressing. And can you talk a little bit about this? These are kids in L.A. This doing is, this? This is a product that literally rose out of the Rodney King riots, which devastated Los Angeles mm -hmm. and the Crenshaw District particularly. The high school kids looked around at their environment and they said, we have to do something to make it better. So they started a garden. These are kids that aren't used to seeing things grow. They're used to seeing things die. They started a garden that became incredibly successful. They started selling their products at farmer's markets. They realized they could take it further. They formulated this salad dressing. This salad dressing in 15 years has played a part in almost 100 kids going to college, kids who would normally be dropping out of school. 27 degrees. That's I know. 14 master's degrees. And it's all from people buying salad dressing. So there's a lot you can do. You can come to our website mm -hmm. to buy it. You can encourage supermarkets to carry it. Yes. You can encourage PTAs and school boards to start entrepreneurship programs. And we show you at our website how to do that really easily. And is there a way, can you log on and find out the formula they use to kind of get the products out there? Is there a way other kids can kind of oh, get inspired? I'm going to taste it. Just I, so think it's great. I think that's the honey mustard. The kids come up it's with so it. It's so great to it's see good. a product, you know, from all the, the labors that you put into it. Good for them. Good for them. Um, this other product that you bought, this is these are papers actually made from elephant dung. Elephant poop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the world's wild elephant population is in serious decline. Right. In a few generations, our children may see elephants only in zoos. That's not acceptable. In Sri Lanka, right. the elephant population is being jeopardized by its conflict with the human population. The humans are clearing the elephant habitat to create farms, and then when the elephants, looking for food, stroll onto the farms, the farmers kill them. So they're and just pretty much just getting on their land. land. Exactly. It's, a, it's a, just a conflict of resources. Yeah, yeah. And the, the answer is, there's a man in, in Sri Lanka who has come up with a brilliant formula which is to take the poop of the elephants and through a very clever process turn it into stunning paper products that can be sold and it makes the elephants a crop that the, the locals want to tend and, and care for the way they do their own food. So please just value again exactly. on the elephants yeah. where they're seeing them as just easily without the elephants. <laughs> exactly. You need the, exactly. they need a place to Should I take a whiff of this paper? Exactly. <laughs> so what can people do? So should we be urging? I mean, everybody's going green, recycling's huge. Specifically from this company, which is called Mr. Ellie Poo, because they do it in a way that's, so cute, that's right? respectful, right? respectful of the elephants. It's excellent it. for scrapbooking. There are a couple things yes. you can do. Obviously, you can buy it. You can encourage your greeting card companies to carry cards with this. We'll show sure. you how to do that at the website. Um, you, want, you can talk to your local zoos about carrying it. And one thing is the, the Republicans have announced they want to hold a green convention. They're the party of the elephant. How about writing to them and suggesting that they no save the elephant? The there, okay? <laughs> I know that it's like it's going. It's a, win it's a public it's relations great. win for them. It's it's win win. Yeah. This next product I was really interested in too. This you're saying could wash away the war in Afghanistan. This is soap made right from it in Afghanistan. In Afghanistan. The war in Afghanistan from They're beautiful. It They're has, gorgeous. It has, it has sort of an economic infrastructure that's based on a very serious problem. The, the, pro, the pr hmm. predominant crop in Afghanistan is is the poppy. The poppy that becomes opium, that becomes the heroin, that, that plagues our streets. Mm -hmm. There's no market for the family farms to make money on anything but poppies. This woman, a heroic American woman, has gone over there to build markets for legal crops. Because she realizes that the opium poppy is supporting the Taliban. Yeah. She's working literally in Kandahar. That's where the 9-11 attacks were hatched. Mm -hmm. She is, has come up with a way to, to encourage farmers to grow an alternative crop, to create their livelihood, then she works and in a cooperative. And this is the 
product of this it. This is the product. It has a bunch of different ingredients from the local region. Pomegranate, which is especially good for your skin. Yes. It's wonderful soap. Very nice stuff. It but is. John, not to be gorgeous. negative, but could this really uh, compete with, with opium? Really? It in the becomes market. a viable, a sustainable crop that the, the farmers can select as an alternative. Mm -hmm. It becomes viable if we accept the proposition right. and say we will buy it's this product. It's consumer driven is what you're saying. You have to tell them to wash also. <laughs> <laughs> that would be okay. <laughs> now that's a <laughs> The last bags here are beautiful, and they're actually made by women and children um, in Cambodia. In Cambodia, correct? there's an incredible organization called Hagar International. It works in Cambodia, which is one of the poorest countries in the world, uh -huh. and suffers from a horrible situation with human trafficking. What that actually means, you hear human trafficking, mm -hmm. that's sexual slavery of five-year-olds mm -hmm. and, and obviously being women being sold by their families. When when so Hagar International rescues these women and gives them comprehensive rehabilitation, mm -hmm. including counseling, health care, but really importantly job training because they so that they can be they can have their own livelihoods as part of the job training they create these beautiful handbags so you buy these gorgeous handbags you have a wonderful accessory but you're literally changing a life yes. and that's our point you can make a difference with your dollar so you can buy these bags you can also encourage you know stores, stores local marks exactly. to actually carry them you which can, can help also contact the, the government the government our, our government recently stopped funding them mm -hmm. directly okay. um, pretty. they're funding they are pretty yeah. 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 Are. what's the easiest way to get these come on to our website and yes. well it's bychange.com we don't sell there we refer you to okay. directly to the enterprises bychange.com yes okay. john and season difference. thank you so much thank for you. injecting conscience back into our shoppers Absolutely. it's always so good to do that and giving shop. us points of action <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, that we do for more information just log on to our website and we will be right oh, back check these sites com. out bychange.com